Uh, Professor Furston is a theoretical neuroscientist and a world-renowned authority on brain imaging. Uh, he has invented statistical parametric mapping, or SPM, which is a software package designed for the analysis of brain imaging data sequences. And also, uh, I think his main contribution uh, to theoretical neurobiology is uh, the free energy principle. Could you just tell us about what the free energy principle is and how has it enriched our understanding of the brain as a unifying brain theory, if you will? would be the denouement at the present time of very old and um, compelling ideas about the brain as literally a fantastic organ, a, a, an organ that constructs hypotheses, explanations, fantasies that afford the best explanation for all the sensory impressions, all the sensory data that we have to assimilate and literally make sense of. Um, so the principles that underwrite that perspective were articulated in various disciplines by people like Kant and Helmholtz, people like Richard Gregory, analysis by synthesis, um, perception as hypothesis making, leverage to great uh, effect in machine learning uh, with people like uh, Jeffrey Hinton and Peter Diane and the notion of the Helmholtz machine, in turn borrowing technical ideas from the physics and engineering literature, such as Feynman's uh, free energy principle, as a way of writing down a prescription or a normative account of this kind of sense making. And you end up with a, uh, um, a formal first principle account of sense making, which you can write down as a computer program or you can write down mathematically, but essentially casts the brain as in the service of trying to minimize its variational free energy. And you can read variational free energy here essentially as a kind of prediction error. Technically, the free energy gradients are prediction errors. And so what's a prediction error? Well, it's just the difference between what, given your beliefs about the current state of affairs out there beyond the skull-bound brain, what would I expect to see? What would I predict? And then I compare my predictions with what I'm actually sensing, and that constitutes a prediction error. And then I use the prediction error to drive my beliefs in a way that eliminates that prediction error. So I've got a sufficient account of what's going on. And that's often referred to as predictive processing in its inactive form or active inference. Um, and when we're drilling down just on the perceptual synthesis that is a, you know, afforded by this account, um, it, the most popular scheme of would be predictive coding, sort of the uh, reciprocal exchange of top-down predictions from the inside out to the parts of the brain dealing with sensory processing, uh, but is complemented by a, an ascending outside-in flow of prediction errors where you need the predictions to form the prediction errors, and then the predictions or the expectations that are generating those predictions um, um, are informed and updated by the prediction errors. Technically, that's a process called uh, Bayesian belief updating, hence the Bayesian brain uh, and the Helmholtz machine um, formulations of it. So that would be an account of the free energy principle really as a prescription, um, an algorithm, um, a teleological account of a normative theory for the brain as an active organ uh, making sense of data with the key twist that, of course, the brain or you and I are in charge of the data that we're trying to make sense of. So there's a, an added inactivist twist here. It's not just that we're good Bayesian filters or data assimilators. We actively have to decide what kind of data we want to base our inferences upon. Um, you know, literally in terms of where I was, where I'm going to look next, how I visually palpate the world or you know which news channels to listen to or which wikipedia page i'm going to forage, forage next that you know so that that's possibly more um more of a difficult problem the brain has to solve than just simply making sense of the data but both are bound up in this um in this sort of generic account in terms of free energy minimization or the explaining away and accounting for providing the best explanation that eliminates uh, eliminates prediction errors.